Ever been so hungry you could eat a horse? How about a cricket or two? Now, before you wrinkle your nose in disgust, let's humor the idea for a minute. Picture this. You're at a buffet. A bug buffet. Sounds like a nightmare, right? But don't swat away the idea just yet. Across the globe, people are crunching down on critters like mealworms, beetles, and even ants. These aren't just bottom-of-the-barrel appetizers, either. They're packed with protein and essential nutrients. For example, 100 grams of crickets can offer as much protein as a similar serving of chicken. Not to mention, they're low in fat and high in fiber. It's a strange concept for many of us, but if we can get past the ick factor, we might discover a surprisingly nutritious and, dare I say, tasty alternative. So, before we wave off the waiter carrying the bug platter, let's delve into why this might not be such a bad idea after all. Now let's swap our chef hats for farmer caps for a moment. Traditional farming, while it has fed us for centuries, is a resource-heavy endeavor. Picture this. To produce a single pound of beef, it takes a whopping 2,000 gallons of water. Compare that to your one-hour shower, which only uses 50 gallons. That's right, your dinner could fill up 40 showers. Land usage is another big factor. In fact, about 40% of the Earth's land surface is used for agriculture. Think of all the forests that have to make way for our pastures and crop fields. And let's not even start on the feed. It takes roughly 7 pounds of feed to produce just 1 pound of beef. That's like having to eat 7 loaves of bread for every sandwich you make. Now, let's talk about greenhouse gases. Did you know that agriculture contributes to nearly a quarter of all global greenhouse gas emissions? And no, it's not just from cow burps and, well, other end emissions. It's also from the fossil fuels used in farm machinery, the production of synthetic fertilizers, and the conversion of forests into farmland which releases carbon stored in trees. Deforestation, in particular, is a double-edged sword. On one hand, we're chopping down our planet's lungs that absorb carbon dioxide. On the other, we're releasing more carbon into the atmosphere. It's like punching holes in a boat and throwing out the life jackets at the same time. So, with all these facts in mind, traditional farming starts to look less like a pastoral idol and more like an environmental dilemma. We're using vast amounts of water, land, and resources, and in return, we're getting a lot of greenhouse gases and a rapidly shrinking rainforest. Now, this doesn't mean we need to stop munching on our favorite burgers or salads, but it does mean we need to find more sustainable ways to produce our food. And that's where our little six-legged friends come into the picture. It seems our beloved bacon and beef might be costing us more than just cholesterol. So we've seen the grim picture of traditional farming. What if we told you there's a greener alternative? Enter the world of insect farming. It's not just a novelty idea, it's a practical, sustainable, and environmentally friendly solution to our food production needs. Insect farming requires significantly less water and land compared to traditional agriculture. Think about it, a cow requires acres of pasture and thousands of liters of water. In contrast, insects can be farmed in vertical farms, maximizing space efficiency. They also need incredibly little water. It's like comparing a swimming pool to a teacup. In terms of greenhouse gas emissions, insects barely register on the radar. Livestock contributes to nearly 14.5% of all anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. That's more than all the cars, planes, and trains in the world combined. Insects, on the other hand, emit negligible amounts of methane. It's like comparing a belching volcano to a fizzling soda can. But it's not just about the resources saved, it's also about the resources gained. Insects are incredibly efficient at converting feed into protein. They can convert 2 kilograms of feed into 1 kilogram of insect mass. Now that's a bargain any supermarket would be jealous of. Insects also have the added perk of being able to feast on organic waste. This means we can turn our waste into a valuable resource, closing the loop in a truly circular economy. It's like turning your trash into treasure, literally. And let's not forget the biodiversity benefits. Raising insects instead of livestock could help to conserve wild habitats that would otherwise be converted into farmland. It's like giving nature a much-needed break. So, the next time you scrunch up your nose at the thought of eating insects, remember this. They're not just crunchy and nutritious, they're also sustainable, efficient, and kinder to our planet. Insects, it seems, could be our tiny superheroes in the fight against climate change. So how about swapping those chicken nuggets for cricket nuggets? Now I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. Insect cuisine might not sound particularly appetizing, but it could be a game changer for our planet and our health. Picture this, a high protein powder that blends seamlessly into your morning smoothie. 
No, it's not the latest superfood from the Amazon rainforest. It's actually made from insects. By grinding these tiny critters into a fine powder, we can harness their nutritional benefits without the ick factor. Insects are packed with protein, fiber, and essential nutrients like iron and zinc. Incorporating them into our diet doesn't mean we have to start munching on mealworms. With the magic of processing, we can slip them into our meals without a second thought. And the best part? It's a small step that makes a big difference for our planet. Remember, every time you crunch on a cricket, you're not just getting a protein punch, you're also helping punch back at climate change.